Greetings and welcome to One Spark Love. Today's sermon session, get those creative juices flowing. It's really not hard. It's hard if you, life is hard if you make it and easy if you let it. It's hard if y'all think too much. Quit thinking so much. Enjoy things for what they are. Now for me, my, you know, my life is about planning. And my middle name is Research. I was born this way. I see I'm over 60. So I've been doing this a long time. And after a while, you get used to, hey, you know what? This is a piece of cake. Easy peasy. Because you've done it umpteen, what, thousands of times? <laughs> this gets easier and easier. That's why life is easy if you let it. And hard if you make it. It's hard because you think too much. Stop thinking too much. Now, I've been planning out. You know, since I get that government job, I plan for 20 years what my life would be when I retire. Now, what did I do? I made it simple. Achievable goals. The reason for the 20 years is because life happens. You get marriage, divorce, births, deaths. Um, you get sick. I mean, everything happens in that 20 years. And that's why you plan accordingly. You don't just say, oh, I'm going to go do this or that. I'm going to get this or that. No, it doesn't work like that. It's called life. And you think that you're going to do this or that or get this or that. No, no. Life has another plan for you. It's called tough love. So you have to plan for time of life to happen so you have your own plan you also have the plan of life so you're going to make sure you have the two increments in your list of planning it's not hard think about it it's called life life happens now 20 years for that is simply because in numerology two is the dualistic nature dualistic nature is the left and right hemisphere of the human brain all right it's all a mathematical equation, all right? So you got your 3D third dimension mathematical equation that y'all know about now. And, you know, geometry, trig, calc, all that good jazz, all right? So then you have the mathematical equation of 5D fifth dimension. So you've got two different mathematical equations, all right? That's why it's when you're planning, you're planning your life. You're also planning life that comes into your life. So you've got two different lives that you have to think about when you're doing the planning stage. You have 24 hours in a day. That's a lot of hours to get a lot done. You have a job for eight. Let's do 24 minus eight. The rest of those numbers in that math equation is how much you're gonna devote to split it up. Half is your life. The other half is life of the events that automatically happen. Boom, flat tire. Boom, this happens. Boom, that happens. You got to plan this stuff out. You got 24 hours. You got eight hours of work. You got supposedly eight hours of sleep. Don't skip on that business right there because otherwise you become psychosomatic. If you don't get the aquatic equation, <clears throat> sorry adequate amount of sleep so you plan accordingly eight and eight is 16. Mm. 24 minus 16 what you got now that last 24 minus 16 is where you divide the time between what you plan to do in your 24 hours and what will happen in that 24 hours. Most people don't want to do that. Well, guess what? Life is school. Life is work. We do the things we don't want to do. Why? Because age comes wisdom. The wisdom that you are learning with age is the things you don't want to do in life, the things you don't want in your life. That is called wisdom. There's many times that I forget that I've eaten this or done that. Years later, I'm like, oh, this sounds good. Let me try this. 
Well, and behold, I forgot. I didn't like it. So you put that on your list of planning, the things you don't want. So you've got your list of pros and cons, pros plus and cons minus. Pros is your assets, minus is your liabilities. So when you're making your plan for your planning of time, money, and energy, guess what? Those three increments, you've got your planning of 24 minus 16, that number, you divide it into two that go into budgeting your time, money, and energy. It's called work. It's called tough love. And then what is the point of the 20 year business plan so that I can live in the luxury of happiness when I retire because I will have already done this and that and I've learned from being wise, these are the things I don't want and these are the things I do want. Now, remember, word association is number one. When you say don't, guess what? The universe says, oh, really? Watch this. Learn to love your hates, and you will receive more of the loves you deserve. So when you hate something, you say don't, the universe gives you back, not three times three. That's to do with money energy. It gives you ten times ten back. And you will keep getting the same increment over and over again. Why do I keep getting that flat tire? Why does this buckle not work again and again and again? And it becomes redundantly boring. What is boring? That's land of the living dead. So if you create the luxury of happiness, guess what? You can then start doing the increments. Increments are the little particles which are the little incidences that happen in life not hard <clears throat> and you must take a drink that means you must take a drink too must keep your body nourished your emotions nourished your spirit nourished your mind nourished you know that's why you take a drink for the four bodies of being it's not hard not rocket science is like it. Now, when you're planning, you figure out what it is that you want. And that's one plus two equals three. One knowing what you want, two is path travel, three is end result. Bottom line, <clears throat> you always get what you want, but not how you want it because you didn't know what you wanted in the first place. That means, what do you want? What will you do to achieve that? And what is the end result? One plus two equals three. That three then goes into your budgeting of time, money, energy. So that number three goes into what do you want in your time? Time, money. What do you want in your money? Time, money energy why do you want your energy do you understand what i'm saying it's a mathematical equation this is your plan this is how you will bring the luxury of happiness into your world this is what i do every single day of every single minute now the world meditates at 4 a.m that means my creative juices are flowing off the rocker after that, that's why it makes it easier to do a podcast. It's easy to do this and this and this. So I'm planning out my day. That's why well, health, happiness is in your affirmation. I do this each and every day. And I have it on my Google calendar. So I get a little ding ding on my phone. You must take care of your three quadrants, your three trilogies and your Four bodies of being, which is the four quadrants. You see, it's math, folks. It's math. It's a different kind of math than what you all are used to, because y'all's math is simply boring. Three <laughs> D third dimension math is boring, right? Because you all are in, I know, 
the sticking kindergarten and color inside the lines. Guess what? Give me your hand. We'll go outside kindergarten and we'll emotionally grow up to first grade, second grade, third grade. That's your first chakra, second chakra, third chakra. It's not hard, okay? Give me your hand, I'll leave you out of kindergarten. And mentally, give me your hand and I'll lead you out of cave person's way of thinking. Okay, let's go have some fun. Otherwise, you're living the land of living dead. When you have something, is it boring or is it living? Boring is land of the living dead. Living is inspiration. That's because you are inspiring. That's because you are creative juices flowing in inspiration. It's not rocket science. It's logic. You need to sit down and figure out who you are so you can figure out what you want. Now, in my 20-year plan, this is why I'm in no hurry. It's about the fun. It's the adventure. It's the road traveled getting there. Now, when I get there, I am now have five years, three months, one week, and two days till I retire. So that's how much planning I still got to go. I've thought about it for 20 years. Of course, I bought my land in my 20s because I need a place to land, live in my 60s, so I bought it 40 years in advance, okay? Now, when I'm 60... Dude, osteoporosis is not your friend, so guess what? You have to learn still live in the land and the luxury of happiness. That means no snow, not happening. It hurts the bones that have holes in them called osteoporosis. So, I have to live where it's warm. Now, you can create warm with a greenhouse, okay? And you got your solar panels on there. You see, this is creative juices flowing. Now, I need to live where there are trees. You must have trees when you have, and it's called PM, preventive maintenance. So you must have your PMs in life. So you're preventing your sickness from happening. So I have sinus, I had sinus cancer. So to prevent the sinus problems, from keep popping up, dude, everything lives, likes to pop up and receive undivided attention from me. Are you kidding me? I got other things to do in life. <laughs> but life, like I said, comes in, you must plan for it. So that's called DM, preventive maintenance. So I need to live where I have trees. Now, I'm a DIY kind of gal, always have been and always will, because anything you make with your hands creates Heart smiles and belly laughs for those that you give to. So when you're creating presents and whatnot, you're giving heart smiles. That's how you heal yourself. And that's how you become the whole being you were meant to be. That's what it's all about. Now, I also must grow a fruit. That's for a matter of survival. So the trees are... The happiness to be able to breathe. If you can't breathe, you got no life. So that is the happiness. And then for survival, you eat. Where do I live? I live where this particular fruit that I like so much, I will be growing. And if you do not live in the plant zone of this particular plant that you will be eating for the matter of survival, if it grows outside of the region where you live, then obviously you're going to have to pay more money for that food because they have to bring it in by truck or plane or whatever. So the cargo has to come in, which then costs more money for the food. So plan it out. So don't be whining and complaining about food, how much it costs, please. I already have over four months since I've been grocery shopping. The planning is grocery shop once every six months and I cook once a week. I have other things to do with my time, money, and energy than sit and cook and clean, for Pete's sake. Life is for the living, not the living dead. All right? Now, 
I don't complain about food. I don't complain about how much it costs, because guess what? I've learned through planning of how to create a healthy lifestyle called a vegan lifestyle. Vita comes from the Vedas. Vedas comes from the four Vedas in the holy scriptures that come from India. That's how you get Ayurvedic. Ayurvedic, Ayurveda relates to the four elements, air, earth, fire, water, which also relate to astrology sign in the Hebrew astrology. I'm a Gemini. I am air. So I'm air in this longitude and latitude of the equator, Earth's hemisphere. And as you go through the different astrologies, you are that particular element on that longitude and latitude of Earth's equator. Earth is the human body. So you learn about the four bodies of being that relate to the four elements, which relate to it keeps going in infinity. Think of the infinity simple, all right? The four bodies of being relate to the four elements. It's a mathematical equation. Not rocket science. It's logic. Logic is the 4D, fourth dimension. Rocket science is 3D, third dimension. So, learn to start planning. Guess what? You meditate. Guess what? It creates what? Think about it. It creates creative juices into your planning stage of your life. That's why I've been planning out my life since the day I was born. To live in a land of luxury after I retire. I don't work just to work. I work to plan where will I be after the age of 65 and 67. Where will I be? Dude, I did enough worrying about money, time, and energy during my working career, my whole life. Why would I want to spend all that time, money, and energy in my retirement? Dude, that's the land of luxury, the luxury of happiness, because I planned it out. And it is working that way, because everything is working out exactly the way I planned. So now, turn on your meditation. Turn on your heart smiles and belly laughs, because the more that you give, the more you will receive. And remember, if you like my content, please like, share, and subscribe. And life is love. Love is life. Blessings from Reverend Lewis. And thank you for your support.